Okay, let's look at an industrial egg um, with um, questionable quality. But what's it take to, in, to produce an industrial egg? So we know they're not good systems anyway because they're not very happy, they're unnatural, um, they're stressful on the birds, um, there's all kinds of disease problems, and they're in a big factory. That factory has a lot of metal components, and it produces quite a lot of contamination in the manure, but that could be cleaned up. But let's have a look, just so that we can produce more eggs, or did we? We didn't actually ever produce more eggs. We just took chickens out of human habitat. They were everywhere once. But let's have a look. What's it take to make all those metal components? Well, to start with, you need an iron ore. Um, somewhere you need to mine iron ore, and then you need a coal mine because then you need a steelworks using the coal and the iron to make steel, and you need a power station to run all of this, and then you need a manufacturing plant to make the components that make the chicken factory. But then we also need an oil drilling rig to get oil and an oil refinery so that we can make fuel because we need to truck these eggs around from their mass produced center and that needs a power station as well. But then the refinery also needs to run trains because we're gonna need trains to deliver grain because there is a lot of grain used in the production of industrial eggs because there's a lot of grain feed. So we're linked immediately to these massive monoculture grain crops and the large tractors need the fuel and the oils to run as well. Now that grain crop doesn't like to grow organically very easily and usually it also needs biocides and fertilizers and a lot of this needs to be packaged in plastic. So all of that comes from a refinery which actually provides chemicals to all these industries. Now, outside of that, we need the refinery to provide some fuel for boats. Those are long range fishing boats because we also need protein in the feed to get the extra production in that chicken factory. Now, often these fishing fleets are taking fish from areas of the third world which are actually deficient in protein, where people are hungry for protein, but instead it's taken to a fish processing factory. And after the fish basic protein is processed, it's taken to a pellet mill where the chicken feed, along with the grain and all its embodied energy, is trucked to the chicken factory. And the chicken eggs are then trucked to the supermarket. And there you have all the connections that are responsible for that industrial egg.